Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Boomer Gamer, and welcome to Dark Souls 3, a game that had just recently been released today, and it's been one of the most anticipated games of 2016. And this is a let's play I really wanted to do for a long time. And I have played Bloodborne before I played this game. I've never played a Dark Souls game before. Uh, but mainly, I wanted to play this because it's like medieval times, and all the cool stuff that's in the game, all the challenges, and dying hard a lot. I'm really excited. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. Okay, so that was a little introduction to uh, what's going on in the game as far as story goes. Now, now we're getting too deep into with our customization part. And like I've mentioned before, like with all these customizations, I'm going to just go ahead and skip right into the end because uh, I take too long when it comes to deciding what I want my character to be. So I'll be right back when I finish with my character. Okay. So this is the basic gist of my character. Uh, I'm just going to stick with the knight because something to start with. Uh, something that I'm able to do. So we're going to go ahead and use this character and start with our story.
Oh, man. Oh, this is the world of Dark Souls. I'm so excited. All right. So this is it. This is our start to our adventure to Dark Souls 3. And they have little messages on the ground and our right stick is to move the camera, which I was obviously doing. Uh, regular attack R1. I'm just testing these out because I don't want to just jump right in and just know what I'm doing because I've never played a Dark Souls game, but I have played Bloodborne. This is our strong attack, R2. Ah, oh, that's cool. Target lock. And release. Why was... Oh. Oh, I didn't notice that guy was just standing there. Wonder if he's... Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Oh, that scared me. Oh. Ah, these jump scares. It's not even... Oh, wait. The corpses are back! The corpses are back! Oh, I can just move around the corpses and I'm being ridiculous. Let's just continue. Okay. Circle, back step, left stick and circle to roll around. Okay, so it's very similar to Bloodborne. I've done a lot of rolling in Bloodborne when trying to dodge enemies, so this could definitely come in handy from experience. Move, circle, dash, okay. So yeah, basically like Bloodborne. We got an item over here, what's that? So it did temperated oh okay. So that's pretty cool. Everything here is just based off like I would play in Bloodborne. I mean, I'm really excited. It is so cool. Oh, we got a sleepy guy here. Ooh, ooh. Took you out. No problem. Corpses. So weird. Ashen Estus Flask. Okay. And guard. Oh, this is the thing that I never get to do in Bloodborne a lot was the guarding. You got you can carry a shield around now, which can come in good handy if you're trying to block enemy attacks in this game. You get to do critical hit if you stick behind this guy very light. Oh, well, I don't think that was the critical hit, but hey, we took the guy out anyway. I wonder if there's any more enemies here. They are sleepy guys right here. Oh! Oh! I, who shot that? Oh, I'm getting scared. Oh my goodness. If I die in the first tutorial... No, 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 no. How, how do you heal? How do you heal? Uh, nope, that's changing weapons. Um, huh? Okay, it's not triangle. That's two hands. Uh, how do we use the healing? We know circles to. Oh, it's square. Healing is square, guys. It's all right. It's all right. Now let me just circle around. Just get this arrow guy. Oh, I didn't block, but did something with my shield. Oh, thank goodness. If I were to die the first part of the tutorial here, I would be ashamed of myself. Okay, so this is what I did. I pressed triangle and do two-handed weapons on the right hand. And then I could do the same with my shield with the other hand. So yeah. And then where is these items which we just learned? Ah! Ah! Scare the peepers out of me. Ooh. There's gonna, this game's going to be full of surprises, I can tell. L and R1 to kick. Hmm. That's handy. Bloodborne never did that. Kicking. L2 to parry. To repel attack. And then an R1 to do that after a successful parry. Okay. So, yeah, this game is looking pretty uh, good right now. We're off to a pretty good start, considering it's a pretty difficult game. But you can change weapons with the D-pad and change the items with the down D-pad. For whatever you equip. Whoa. 
This game is just beautiful. So awesome. But I think we're just gonna press on forward. Oh, is that castle? Oh man, this is gonna be a good game, I can tell. It's good, but I'm probably gonna hate it at the same time. Oh, what's that? Rest at bonfire restores HP and S to supply. Hey, our first bonfire. Oh, wait, what? What was that about? They lit the bonfire and the guy just disappeared. But this is the resting. So, when we rest at the bonfires, it heals all our stats and all our supplies. So, that definitely can come handy. Alright, first enemy, first enemy. Took him out no problem, like the tutorial. Are these guys sleeping? I don't think so. No way. You guys can't sleep while I'm around, just stomping up. Man. That looks pretty good. Wait a minute, I hear something. Oh, I missed a guy. Don't worry. I just took care of them. Oh, you carried something. Fading soul. Okay. I'm pretty sure that comes in handy later. L3 while dashing to jump. Oh, I guess we're supposed to jump off that thing there. Let me try it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, there's an item up here. Well, I guess I had to come back for that later then. Yeah, I'll have to come back for it later. I just want to press forward as much as I can for this first part. R1 while falling, punching attack. Oh. Well, there's a guy down there. I don't... Unless... Oh, yeah, there's an enemy right below me. I can take the hit on him. Boom! Look at that! We are doing so good in this game so far. You think you can sh shoot those arrows at me? One of your buddies just tried to kill me earlier with those. He had a flaily corpse like you did. Okay. Okay, so I just... I want to try and get that item that was on top of that uh, casket. Oh, what? I missed it that much? Okay, I'm determined. I am determined to get that item. It's a pain just to roll, roll around in. I think I'm probably going to edit this. Start building up the little minimum. Same place. Okay, I'm just gonna come come back for it later. It's not worth the trouble now. It's not worth it. We'll come back for it later. If it's important or not, I'm just gonna get it later. Ooh. Is there regarding the entrance to this? This area looks kind of big. To be honest with you. Is this going to be a boss fight? No. They're not going to put a boss fight at the beginning of the game. Are they? Touch Bloodstain. Oh, what's that? Oh, if you use other players playing? Yeah, this is probably a boss fight. I'm, I'm starting to get goosebumps. Removing the sword? It looks kind of creepy. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm just gonna go and advance forward. And we can't advance forward, so we're probably gonna have ourselves a boss fight. Uh, well, no, no, so maybe it's not a boss fight. I'm just gonna re remove the sword and just see what it does. I'm, j I'm helping you out, buddy. Whatever disease written you got going on, I'm helping you. Well. Oh, it moved. It moved. It moved. It moved. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh my goodness. How can you do this to be game? How the. Oh. Oh, I got lucky right there. Ooh. 
how do you start off a Dark Souls game? Put a boss fight at the very beginning of the game. That's how. Yes. Alright. We're... Ooh. Look at all this rolling. You see all this rolling technique? I've learned all this from Bloodborne. Yeah, we're getting... Oh. What the... Uh, be back up. Be back up. Back up. Oh, oh my god. What the heck is that? Ah! Ah, I'm so scared. Ah, do it hit me. Ooh. Uh, I really don't have a strategy for this, by the way. I'm just... Oh. I'm just... Moving back. And just going to hit four when he's not attacking. Come on. We're almost at him. He's almost there. Let's finish him off. Oh. Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness! Oh! First boss fight of the game. Zero deaths. I did it. Uh. And that's how we're gonna start a game. A boss fight. Oh my gosh, that was intense. Uh, and let's light a bonfire here. That boss fight was pretty lit, fam. That was super lit. Uh, I, well, we're all, we're all peeled up, so we don't need to rest here. I'm going to press forward, and let's leave this whole boss mess behind. Still unfair that we have to start off the game with a boss fight, but I didn't die a single time. And that's impressive even for me. Dang, you have trouble opening the door? Go to the gym. My character needs to be... I should have built my character more built. Oh, I guess that's where we have to go. Well, okay. Let's see what else we can do. Broken straight sword. Oh, is that a new item? A new weapon? Oh, I used the pad to open the menu. Okay, so I'm playing this on PlayStation 4, and you press the little pad on top of your controller to open up the menu. And, uh, let me check what I have. I have some flask, dark sign, baiting souls that I collected. Um,. I did, oh that's a coiled sword picked up from the boss, it's a key item, long sword, there's our broken straight sword. We're probably gonna fix that up somehow, make it a good sword, knight shield, helmet, just a basic armory, oh and the life ring, and when I was, um, when I was uh, editing my character, uh, they had me choose the option of what item I should be starting off with. And I chose the life ring that maximizes the HP. I'm thinking I need it since I'm probably going to be dying a lot. Well, we were going to take out these characters. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Another guy with a freaking arrow. Oh, this one's got a shield. Ooh, snap. We got him from the back, and that's what we... That was awesome. I think that was the critical hit move that we were supposed to perform, like, early back when we first woke up. And this guy is carrying a fading soul. That's good. That's good. Uh, we're about to go inside this uh, mausole mausoleum. Yeah, makes it like a mausoleum. Oh, it just looks kind of eerie, though. Oh, the fire's around it. What's that? Huh? It's a fog wall. What? What? But there's no fog wall here. Uh, uh, I don't... I don't want to applaud this message. No. Uh, I think that's what other players have left behind. Firelink Shrine. Oh! There's somebody down there. Who is that? 
I think it's... Ooh. It's a princess? Let's talk to her. Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I'm a firekeeper. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. The lords have left their throne. Oh, you can tend to me anytime. And must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Oh, you could be at my side anytime you want. <laughs> So I guess this is where you go uh, to level up. She kind of reminds me of the doll that you have to go to to level up when you collect like uh, the blood echoes in Bloodborne. She just things like that. And I, I'll be your knight in shiny armor, and well, uh, I'll stop. I'll stop. Uh, you're supposed to put a sword here. Oh. Hey, we got another bonfire lit. And that was the sword that we got from the boss. So, yeah, I guess this is our little hub area to advance our equipment and other stuff. And I noticed that this is a blacksmith over here. So let's talk to him and see what uh, he has well, to say. a newcomer, I see. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Sindhu, I trust. A toilsome journey, I wager. You require good arms. Let me smith you weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. Okay, so this is where we go to... Uh, get our weapons made and increase the power of our weapons and I think I might figure this out later if infuse weapons I'm not sure if I'm able to infuse them or not yet but I think I'm gonna go and figure all this out later we don't have anything to be repaired well ask I think that's uh, I'll look at all this in my own time Pretty be careful. and see uh, what it's be used for. Oh, I, I didn't mean to cut you out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was trying to listen to what he has to say, but I walked off and cut him off. Um, oh, we got another guy over here. Let's see what he has to say. Ah, another one roused from the DJ Khaled. I didn't know you were in this game. You're not alone. We unkindled our worthless. Can't even die right. How can you die There's right? And they'd have us seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. Oh, true oh. With the metal I get it. I think. Not fit to lick their boots. Um, collapse. I don't know what that means, but. Don't you think? <laughs> uh, no, DJ Khaled. I, I don't think so. Praise the rip. Yep, no. I think that's the message I left behind. But, uh, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this first part right here. Dark Souls 3. Uh, this has been an awesome first experience of Dark Souls so far. I'm really liking it. And if you guys are enjoying this series as well, uh, please blow up that like button so a million like pieces helps me out a lot. If you guys want to see the next part to this, uh, let me guys know in the comment section below. And guys, this has been an awesome first playthrough. Now see you guys in the next video. Peace out.